Okay, now it is time to work on the header. So I'm going to lock that background rectangle and turn it off, just so it's out of the way for now. Um, so now I'm going to turn on the header rectangle and unlock it so I can edit it. Now what I'm going to do is just create a mask. So I'm just going to mask um, a photo just so that I see uh, just a part of the photo. And I'll use this rectangle to do the mask. Um, so I don't need a uh, color or a stroke around it. And I don't need the whole thing. I just need a piece of it, just the piece that I want to um, have the photo show through. So I just need a little section here at the top. Now I want to make my banner, I don't know, 70, 100 pixels high. And I, I'm going to cut this rectangle into, into two pieces. Uh, little, a small 100 pixel or so high section at the top and a big piece at the bottom and I'll just delete the bottom piece. But to give myself a little bit of help, I'm going to turn on the rulers, so under view and rulers. And uh, if I want a little guide to help me uh, drag and cut this accurately, if I go up into the ruler, I can click and I pull down and I can pull down a little guide. So. Um, you remember we put this uh, rectangle at 50 pixels in the y direction, so that's 50 right there. If I watch, I can go down to 100. So if I'm right there, that you can see it's over here. I'm using this one on the side. Now that piece would be um, about 50 pixels wide or high, and then these are in 20s, so there's 70. I think 70 is going to be just fine. So I can. I'm just going to put this guide there to help me make my cut. Whoop. I guess I held on to it too long. Let's try that again. All right, I gotta let go of it out on the canvas here. There we go, right about there. Now I'm not doesn't have to be perfect, just close to a sev seventy or a hundred, right in that range. <coughs> okay, so I've got the guide on there. Now I'm going to use that to make my cut. So if I look over here in the vector category again, you can see there's one button there that is the knife tool, little serrated edges. So I'm going to click on that to pick it up come up here to my line where I've made this line. Now I want to make sure that I draw that I cut in a very straight line. So before I click and start dragging, I'm going to hold down the shift key and if I put it right my knife right near that guy that I put on, it'll snap on. So I'm going to click and drag and you can see I'm dragging out a little different color blue line across and I'm can go way off to the side. Now I want to let go of my mouse first and then let go of the shift key and I have drawn a nice clean straight line across or I've cut nice and clean and you can see over here in my layer panel there are two header rectangles down there now that's been sliced into two pieces so I'm going to click out here on the canvas somewhere to deselect both of them and then click on the bottom piece and you can see that's a separate piece now and just push delete because all I really need is that top um, that piece of the rectangle I'm going to use that as a mask okay so we've got the mask part done where we've cut the rectangle into the piece we want. And uh, now it's time to bring in the photo that we want to use. So I'm going to import a photo in. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and go out and find the photo that I want to use. Um, I use, uh, to find some of these photos, I used a website called uh, www.sxc.hu, which is a great um, stock photo house website that has um, some royalty free images that you can use. So I'm going to click, that's the picture I want. Now my cursor has turned into this right angle uh, symbol uh, and it, it just gives me an option here. If I click right now with this, the photo will come in full size, which I might want. If I click and drag out a marquee, the photo will resize to fit right inside that marquee. So in this case, either one will work, but um, I'm just going to click to get the photo full size there. Okay, so there's my full size image. Now when it came in, it came in on top of that rectangle. You can see what I need. I need it underneath. And if I look over my layer panel, I can see there's my bitmap and down there's my header rectangle. I'm just going to click and drag this bitmap down this stack of stuff over here until that thick black line shows up underneath the header rectangle. So just let go over there. And now you can see that, that um, this image is underneath that rectangle. Now, I'm not going to, after I create the mask, I can slide this picture around to find the, the spot that, I'm really, that I really want to show. Um, so I'm not worried too much about this, where it exactly is. 
let's create the mask and then we'll we'll move the picture around underneath the mask to get it in the, the spot that we really want. Okay, so creating the mask is quite easy. I just need both objects selected. So I'm going to select the um, bitmap by clicking on it over here in the layers panel. Hold down the shift key and I can click on the header rectangle and you can see they both become highlighted over there and they're both highlighted out on the canvas but sometimes it's easier to, to, to get multiple things selected over here in the layer panel. So with both objects selected and the rectangle on top, the white rectangle, the rectangle doesn't need to be white, um, I'm going to come up to the modify menu at the top down to mask and one option should be available there a group as mask so I'm going to click on that and voila there is my mask I'm only seeing the photo through that rectangle the rectangle is kind of gone it's just working like a mask or working like a window you can see in the layer panel over there the black and the white the white area is the part that I'm seeing the picture through the black area is where the picture is hidden so if I want to adjust what part of that picture is showing up uh, under the mask uh, you'll you'll see a little blue four-handled um, uh, symbol out on the canvas. That's the handle that allow when I click and drag on that, that will slide the image around underneath um, underneath the mask. So if I'm you know I want to sort of play around with where this image shows up, I can just grab onto that handle. So how about right there? If you've deselected everything, you know you've clicked off and that that handle's not showing up again. Um, if you just click carefully back on the image here, that little blue handle shows up again. Or um, you can always come over to your layer panel, click on the image over there, and that um, little four arrowed handle, um, now I've got it right, I'm going to get rid of this guide now. That little four handled arrow is there and lets me sort of grab it and drag it around. Okay, so that is the process of creating the header. So once I'm finished with that, I'm going to lock that layer, or lock that object, not really, really a layer. Um, and just to kind of check to see how it's looking, I can turn on the eyeball for um, my background rectangle. Okay, so there, that's what we've got so far. Um, so in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about putting the text on or the title on.